Okay, optics companies. Could you do me a big solid and standardize the plate system for all your optics? Just standardize them. Make it easier on gun companies. They could make it easier on all of us. Please do that. Because this, how many do I got here? I'm sorting them all out. I've got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. I've got seven mounting plates here. That's because you guys want to get your crap together. Come on, let's go with it. Let's get as one team. Anyway, what I'm doing today is uh, mounting up an optic before we head out to the range. Um, and just kind of looking at the gun, feeling the gun, kind of giving you my first impressions of it. Um, all the time we get these guns in and we get them out of the box. Ryan gives me the gun and says, okay, it needs an optic. So I run back here, I slap an optic on and we go out to the range. That might be close. But anyway, uh, got the Holosun mounted up here. Um, everything looks good. Everything looks in order. I'm going to clean that glass off because I put my grimy fingerprints on it. Um, Why did I do that? Jeez, idiot. So, that's the mounting portion of it. So let's head out to the range and see how this guy shoots. All right. We got it right here. We got it out on the range finally. The Smith & Wesson M&P 10 millimeter M2.0. It's a mouthful, but it's a lot of gun. 10 millimeter. 10 millimeter has been a standard. It's been a standard for a while. And it's nice to see companies actually start developing guns that all of us guys are gonna like to shoot. We're gonna wanna own. And this for me is a great backcountry gun. Um, some initial things you're gonna wanna notice about it are the optic height sights. Um, it does not come with a threaded barrel. This is offered in four models, so a four inch model, a 4.6 model, and manual thumb safety in both of those models. The grip texture is the M2.0 grip texture that you know, but it seems to me, just to me, that it is a little bit grittier, um, especially here on the front strap, you're gonna notice that. And on the back strap, the palm swells, you get four of them you get a small, medium, medium, large, and large model. But the serrations on this slide, just like an M2.0. But the thing is here, and this is what I first noticed, and I guarantee you, you guys go into your local gun shop, you're gonna notice the exact same thing. That does not look like an M&P trigger. Well, because it's new. It's their new flat-faced M2.0 trigger. And to be honest with you, it's got this little safety shoe here, and it's really, actually a little bit more broad that you, than you'd expect than you'd see from other gun companies that have the safety shoe on there. But it feels good, it feels nice, but uh, you don't wanna hear me talk anymore. It does have a Picatinny, and again, I'm gonna stop talking and just shoot the gun. So a lot of take up on that trigger. There is a lot of take up. Short reset. So far, really nice. Really, really nice. Okay, all right. My initial thought is when I start to control that recoil, when I start to make uh, a better grip, um, it all helps. Like this all helps, all the grip texture helps. The balance of the gun feels really good. Uh, for Smith & Wesson, I like this release. I like it. I know a lot of guys have wanted a 10 millimeter from Smith & Wesson, and honestly, here it is. It's the Smith & Wesson M&P 10 millimeter M2.0.